To begin, I just added a couple clips to my timeline, and I'd like to add a transition between the clips at the cut. Now, before you do anything, it's a good idea to drag the end of this bottom timeline bar to zoom into your clip so your transition will be easier to work with. Alright, the easiest way to add a transition is to right click on the cut and select Apply Default Transition. This will add a cross dissolve to your video clip and a constant gain to your audio. If you don't want one of the transitions like the constant gain, simply select it and press the delete key on your keyboard to get rid of it. To change the duration of your transition, just hover over the end of it and drag it. Now my dissolve lasts longer. One problem you might run into is when you're working with clips that haven't been trimmed yet and try to add a transition, you're going to get this error. Basically, Premiere needs a little extra bit of your footage to make the transition work smoothly. However, you can ignore the message and hit OK, but keep in mind that your transition might not be as smooth as it could be. But if you want to fix the issue, all you need to do is trim the end of your first clip a bit as well as the beginning of your second clip. Then you can re-add the transition without any problems. Ok, next let's say you don't want the dissolve and want a different transition. To do that, let's go over to the effects panel. If you don't see your effects panel, you can find it by going up to Window, Effects. In the effects panel, expand the video transition or audio transitions and find one that you like. To add it between your clips, simply drag it onto the cut between your clips on the timeline. Ok, and there's my wipe transition. Keep in mind that you can right click any transition in the effects panel and set it as a default transition if you would like to replace the dissolve. Next, if you'd like to see some advanced settings for your transition, select it on the timeline and then go up to effect controls. In here, you'll see a preview of the transition. By selecting one of these arrows, you can control the direction of your transition. So now it'll play back from the top left corner instead of the side. One last issue you might have is when you drag your transition between your clips and it sticks to one side instead of staying in the center. This can be fixed in effect controls for your transition by changing the alignment setting to center at cut. Ok, and that's it for this tutorial, so thanks for watching and see you guys next time.